today from the Emmanuel TV family. The journey continues. The vision remains the same. Changing lives, changing nations, changing the world. As Prophet TB Joshua touches the people one by one, praying for them in Jesus' name, the Spirit of God exposes this man. Who are you? I say I'm a lion. You're a lion, right? Yes. How many powers do you have as a lion? I have plenty of power. I give up plenty of power. Move like a lion. He has scorpion. Uh-huh. With body. Uh-huh. If you take. Where, where, where? It's here. Uh-huh. I want to kill this boy too. This is the power. This one here. Uh-huh. This one here. This scorpion. Uh-huh. This scorpion. Uh-huh. If he hit you. Uh-huh. He will fall down uh-huh. and he will, he, will, he, will, he will die. This scorpion, uh-huh. if he, this guy dress uh-huh. and I give us the spirit of smoking, uh-huh. he said TV Joshua, that fucking time TV Joshua, he tell him to not smoke again. If I go up to dream, the TV Joshua will collect the smoke from my hand. Uh-huh. This, place, this place, you swell up. So when he gets angry, what, what happens? If he, get, if he get angry, uh-huh. if he hits you with this hand, uh-huh. unless he will die, uh-huh. who be you? He will die. Oh, you're cutable. Uh-huh. He, I said that to, he goes to Europe. The next one, the next one, this one. This one, <laughs> this one just, if you want the woman, any woman he like, if you touch the woman, the woman will fall for him. Uh-huh. And if the woman fall for him after, you go enjoy the woman, I will suck the woman. Uh-huh. So what do you do to his marriage, his marriage? Oh, uh-huh. you get out, this one get married. Uh-huh. You, go, you don't get married, you give her wife, you don't want the wife. And he said he wants some foolish guy, that way he gets some school, school, school guy for him. Small boy and small guy. I suck all of them. This is a family mark. What do you do with it? This mark, uh-huh. anywhere you go, I follow him. Uh-huh. Who be him? Uh, how did you enter him? How did you enter him? He be grandfather that gift to me. Uh-huh. I said, I grow past you. You understand me? He be small boy. My age be 1,500 years. He be small boy. TV Joshua, TV Joshua, TV Joshua. If he's inside your room, TV Joshua. Everywhere, TV Joshua. Why? I know your friend. If it is boy, this, this fucking, fucking boy be your friend. Me, I'm not your friend. This boy love you. If he, anybody talk your matter, he will suck him. Deliverance continues as Prophet TB Joshua touches him again with the lightning power of God in Jesus' name. He shocked me electric. He come here, pew. Go here, pew. <laughs> With a final touch of light from the throne of grace, the spiritual battle between light and darkness in the life of this man comes to an end as the darkness is expelled in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for setting this captive free. Right now you can see on the screen of your television the gentleman concerned is overcome by emotions that what he has just witnessed This is the clear proof that what we saw just now was not him, it was the evil spirits within him that was confessing, and today he is delivered to the glory of God. This is the reason we're seeing these tears uh, as an evidence that indeed at that moment it was that evil spirit that was speaking and working through him, and right now he is free and he's here to give his confession and also his testimony to the glory of God. So brother, we understand your emotions, we just ask that you... uh, Calm down, prepare yourself so that you can share this testimony so people of God can learn and glory can be given to God and shame to the devil. Emmanuel, my name is Muidin Shitu. <laughs> Emmanuel, my name is Muidin Shitu and I've been Ghana and Nigeria. My father is Nigeria. He's one of the powerful men in Nigeria here. Yeah. My father is Red Scorpion. I die. People, some people can know my father. And my story goes like this. That time, a small boy, my father's very loved me too much because I have plenty of sisters, almost 48 sisters. And he does Scorpion for my body. And he told me, no one where the woman born, it can destroy me anywhere I go. And I put that one for my scorn. 
like I have power. I just want to confess my sin because I know everything is over. Because TV Joshua is saved my life. Because I sold my life for devil. And TV Joshua bring me back home. <laughs> Beginning of my life, I be drug dealer. I be woman traffic. I have collection. I have link for anywhere. And I do it so many years. That time when I'm growing up, no school where I go, no teacher, no headmaster, they will reject me. Because always like fighting, like fighting. Like, no, if I, I can fight 20 people, 30 people, and uh, no one can destroy me. But I know where I belong. But now I belong to Jesus now. So you grew up with this strong spirit of anger, fighting, and when you became a uh, older and you wanted to travel abroad. Just tell us what happened. I don't respect anybody. I don't respect anybody. Either I have money, either I have power, either I, either I hold the gun, I will start with you. I don't respect anybody because I believe myself. My father say, I must believe myself, say nothing can happen to me if he does this day with me. And I believe myself, so I do. Yeah, and You know, I travel so many countries, and I see so many things, and I know some people is watching me right now, maybe they do business with me before, or they see me before, I only go, I just beg God to forgive me, because I do something like drug, I do drug, and woman traffic, I have some old people who they be my buyer, like age of 65, 70, be made by myself. I spoke to them, oh, yes, sir, let me give you some young lady and massage your body. I say, okay, 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 okay. I spoke to the lady, say, I give you two years to stay the, with this woman. After I go sign, let him sign the document, he collect all his property, I'll collect 50. You collect 50. I do one when it caused the problem for me. You know, the man is my, is my body body. And at the end of the day, the man sees a, a setting up. And he said the man, Italian mafia to me. They say, oh, CK, he doesn't know say it's you. Oh, this man says, so, so. I say, oh, forgive about him. And the man, after this, as the second time, the man came with another mafia. That mafia, they came, everybody changed the bullets. They shot me in my chest. I shot the man too. And at the end of the day, my neighbor called the police and police came. At the end of the day, they take me to hospital. They jailed me three years, they jailed the man 20 years. Because I, I used allegation against him. Say, they sleep with child, small, small child from prison to Germany. Okay, so you're in prison in Italy over this issue, and from Italy, Italian prison, taken out of prison, and you went to Germany. I go to Germany, I start my business again. At that time, I joined the woman traffic to man traffic. And if you want to marry, they'll give you 4,000 euro. And I'll look for the boys, say you, go and marry this guy. I have, I have some boys, some big, big men. If you marry the lady, three weeks. Go divorce the lady. I will collect 2,000 euro. He will go collect some. And after that, the cripple. They are asked about the cripple too. I have the cripple too. I will go and meet the cripple. Say, I have husband for you. He will say, okay. He will pay me and he will pay your husband. I will collect money for the cripple. I will collect money for your husband. And I will tell him, say, three months. After three months, if you don't live there, I will deal with you. After three months, they will leave the cripple. Cripple go wrong, come back. Oh, CK, so, so, so. I say, oh, bring another money. I'll look, that why be foolish. I'll look another one for you. I went to US and I met another gang in US. And 
I still for California, for US, and half house for Orlando. That's why it's my bunkery house in Orlando. I have one guy in the US, he's from Norway, he lives in Berlin. And he doesn't know, say, I'm doing with drugs. Always he go ask me, oh, CK, he bring plenty of money. I say, oh, my father be king for Africa. He they deal with good. He be my father, they send me money. And the lady say, it's okay. It's not a problem. And one day, I have one market, and then bring the market come the house, where the lady think it be money. Uh, where I say, it's not money. He, uh, say, uh, money or no money. It's here it. And he see, say, it be powder. He call your friend. Your friend told him, say, it's cocaine. Say, what? And I turn my back. I'm going to inside the room. And they run away. From there, I box all the market inside the sink. And I flush it away. You see, say the drug. And from there, I came back home. And in 2012, I sit down in my bedroom. I do to my TV where I see Emmanuel TV. I say, this one, Emmanuel TV. They go see Rasaki TV very soon. That's the... Statement where I say that time be that. So, sir, to the glory of God, we just want to talk about the deliverance you received here last week. How did you receive your deliverance, and what are the changes in your life after the deliverance? <clears throat> the deliv that deliverance, only one thing I remember, I went to the man of God in front, and man of God touched me. The rest thing I don't know. I don't know who wore my clothes. I don't know anything. I just see myself in naked. So you just remember the man of God touching you, and that's all? Yes. I don't and know anything. Ever since the deliverance you received last week, can you just tell us the changes you've seen in your life? The changes where I see, almost three days today, I dream. And the way where I dream, I see the people, they started to beat me. Like people, they beat me. Where they beat me, correct beating for dream. And immediately, when they hit my, this my face, I see man of God came. Immediately when man of God came, everybody run. I say, man of God, why you don't come early before these people want to kill me? <laughs> and the answer when man of God told me inside my dream, say, I still they put them for my mind. Because of that, it happened. And man of God issued some prayer for me for the dream there. Say, if you want to sleep, say, Lord Jesus, I leave my soul on for you. Save me and guide me. That is the prayer we man of God told me be that. And the yesterday to today, I, made, I issued that prayer. Oh, I sleep, nothing they happen. I don't see anybody. The spirit, like, they beat, like, you, you know, the way where they beat me, like someone wear the, the cloth, they beat me, they come out everything in my body. You understand me? Say, bring something where it belongs to us and go where you want to go. And everything where he give to you, he go collect it. If so, they told me. Where I say, I don't want your thing again. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We thank God for our brother's deliverance. We believe what we've heard from him is enough of a valuable lesson for us as people of God, especially young people around the world. And today he's delivered, he's freed from his past life and how Satan used him to destroy so many people and he's a living testimony to the glory of God. And brother, we pray that God will give you the grace to maintain this deliverance by making the word of God a standard for your life. And we know as you do so, the best is yet to come in Jesus' name. Thank you.